Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for what is it? May, uh, Wednesday, May 9th. Wednesday, May 9th. Daily energies. If you guys would like a quick reading and you have Apple iPhone, you can contact me on Instago. It's only 10 bucks. You know, I'll respond within 24 hours. I have decided to do a one for Android users. Uh, it's through PayPal. You send me 15 bucks through PayPal to my email address and we'll do the same thing. I'll send you a picture with a quick answer, one question. If you want to know more, you can go to my Facebook page or my website and find out the exacts how to do it. Um, that's for Android users. It's 15 because it's a lot more work for me. Instago does all the work for app, for iPhone, so, you know, it is what it is. This is for Wednesday, May 9th. But we have the other readings too, so you don't have to get a quick one. You can get a 30 minute or a 20 minute as well. Oh, someone is still fighting for something, you know, still waiting, being patient. They haven't given up on love. I haven't given up. I still got some fight left here. I still got some fight left. I know I've been wounded. Somebody's been really wounded, but they're still fighting. Yep. They have confidence that this will succeed. Interesting. Uh-oh. But there could be a third-party situation here, or you're dealing with somebody who's not very happy. Maybe somebody wants a reconciliation, but somebody doesn't. So maybe one person has to go. Hmm. Well, all right. Well, it looks like somebody is charging in. They're coming in with some news. There's some news here that may make you feel a little off kilter. All right. Somebody could be coming in today with some conflicting news or something is happening. Something's coming very quickly and it may shake you a little bit. It may make you feel... A little unbalanced, a little uneasy. You may uh, seriously put your guard up and say, hey, 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 step back here, step back, take a step back. Um, someone is, has a lot of confidence has too much confidence somebody you know and there is a such thing right somebody has too much confidence here somebody could be end up getting hurt you know this is kind of like ego ego like the ego is so big that there's somebody in the mix that could get hurt okay so it feels like somebody's coming in and they're offering love but I don't think it's true love. Okay, I don't think it's true love. I feel like it's a... Uh, it doesn't lead to commitment, right? It doesn't lead to commitment. There's a lot... There's, it's like blind faith. Somebody is coming on in and offering blind love. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. But I, And I feel like you are trying to be open to this, right? You're trying to be open to this blind love. But it may be making you feel a little unbalanced that, that things are happening too quickly. Maybe this is too good to be true. So maybe that's why somebody had to let somebody go so that they could progress forward with another person. And things are happening very, very quickly. It may make you feel a little shaky, but you don't want to give up on it. It's like, this is it. This is the last one. This is the last time I'm going to try. This is it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try one more time for this situation. I'm going to try one more time for love here. I'm going to try. Hopefully this is it because I don't have much fight left. I'm about ready to give up on love. But I think I'm going to give it another whirl. 
All right, I'm going to look at this from the best possible perspective. I'm going to be open to this and go into it blindly, even if I'm uncomfortable with it, because I feel so confident that this is this is real. This is this is it. I'm going to go charging in after this love because I feel like. This can bring me happiness. What the hell is this? Yeah, somebody's coming out of darkness. They're seeing the light. Yeah, somebody is not feeling as insecure about a situation. They're feeling more secure than they have been. And they're being offered a new, secure, stable opportunity. I think somebody that is watching this has had to let somebody else go. And now they're charging forward towards someone new. They're feeling very confident that this is it. This is the one. This is it. This is the one. I'm going to go into this blindly. Even if it's a little chaotic and it's a little scary, I'm moving forward because I, I feel like this is the secure, stable opportunity that I've been looking for. So I, I, I feel like today is a day of receiving or starting a new beginning, okay? Because this Ace of Pentacles is something you've manifested. This is a new beginning that is secure and stable and solid. After a period of unhappiness... Yeah, somebody had to end a contract. They had to do the right thing so that they could move forward and find this new love. So I feel like there was a contract that has ended between you and another person that has allowed you to move forward into this or onto this new horizon. Okay, you guys are broadening, you're, you're expanding. You have a new offer. It's like I, I'm gonna I'm going to offer you what I have even if I don't know what's gonna happen. There's blind faith here, okay? And I feel like before but what has happened is that somebody has given up on one situation and they're giving somebody else their last chance. Okay, you know what I mean? It's like okay. I have this new opportunity for love. I'm going to give it to you. And we're going to pray to God that this works out. Because if it doesn't, I'm not. I'm done with love. That's what, I'm, that's what I, I see. It's like this is it. This is, this is it. It's like that quote. I don't know what it is about being, you know, the first love is great, but the last love is the best. This is like a last love. This is the last chance. But I feel like it's with a new person. That, you know what I'm trying to say? It's like, this is this is it. This is it. We're going to go into this blindly. We're going to go into this full force. We're heading forward very quickly. There's a lot of confidence. We both have confidence that this is going to work out. Because one contract has ended for both people involved here. There's a contract that has ended. That has allowed somebody to broaden their horizons. You know, and go down a new road. And look at things from a new perspective. I feel like there's a new opportunity. Okay. With the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. There's a new secure solid opportunity for love here. After letting one contract end. Okay. Something that wasn't, un that wasn't happy. That didn't give you cause to celebrate. There's too many conflicts. Something has ended and now something new is beginning and there's, there's a lot of victory and success to be had here with this new opportunity that you are jumping into blindly. I see victory and success even with the chaos that comes with it.
somebody is going through some sort of, or they have gone through a split or a divorce, which has allowed them to move forward with their true partner. You know, their la the last one. You know, the next one, the last one. That's what I'm trying to say. Soulmate. It's being offered from above. These are, this is a hand from above and this is a hand from above. Somebody is being offered a gift of secure, stable, long-lasting love because they did the right thing and let go of a contract that wasn't meant to be. Now they're, they're on the last, it's like the last stand, the last relationship. Now this won't resonate with everybody. This will resonate with the ones that have ended that contract that wasn't meant to be, that wasn't fulfilling, and they're feeling confident about the future. They're seeing the light and they're feeling, feeling secure within themselves. For the people that are feeling secure, and they've been through a lot of life experiences, okay, because this is the Nine of Wands. This person has, has been wounded many, many, many times. Maybe even if you want to look at it this way, nine re nine serious relationships. This person, and that doesn't have to be that, but I'm just giving an example. This person has been wounded. They have a lot of life experience behind their back. This person is ready for that last one. If you are not, then hey, I mean, I don't know what to say, but you, so this is a person that has been through a lot. They, they have a little bit of fight left. It's after this. It's over because the next is a 10. It's over. So I feel as though this is the last hurrah. This is the last one. The last love has finally come into your life. If you have accomplished the life experiences that were needed to get to this point. Just ask. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team. And all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. It's true. Ask. If, if, if you want this last one, you have to ask for it. And you have to let go of whoever's holding you back from this last one. If you're holding on to conflict and indecision and the wrong one, then you haven't learned the life's lessons necessary to meet this last one. You have to be willing to learn the lessons the hard way, unfortunately, being wounded to get this, to get to the last one. So I feel like there is something happening very, very quickly with this Knight of Swords. And it may feel a little off balance and chaotic. But it could lead to something stable, secure, solid, and full of love. So yeah, this is what I have for today. Remember, the timing is fluid, okay? So this could be coming up in the future, could have happened already. You know, this is the message I'm picking up on today. Whoever is drawn to watch this will know when it's meant for them. They'll know, they'll feel. They'll feel the meaning of this reading and how it resonates with them. How and when. Trust it. Trust your feelings. When I say this reading, you know who I'm talking about. Don't doubt those thoughts. Talk to you tomorrow.